Good afternoon, welcome to Danced Engineering. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick video. We've got this uh, lovely um, Carrera GT 924 uh, replica in uh, for some work and they're looking to fit, well it's actually fitted with uh, the Porsche 951 full running gear. Uh, absolutely cracking example, as you can see, all fully rebuilt, um, fully repainted, fully restored basically. Absolutely superb car. So um, I just wanted to go over um, our, one of our new products. Uh, we have done a 36 minus one crank trigger wheel and mounting kit, um, proving to be quite popular already. And I just thought I'd do a quick video going over the basics of the kit. So what we've done, we've created a nice CNC aluminium bracket. Well, a couple of brackets, okay, there for the, um, the standard Porsche 944 crank sensor. Um, any of them will do, obviously it's the three pin one, uh, so it's suitable for use with the VEMS ECU which is obviously very popular in the Porsche circles, also suitable for use with a, a range of um, aftermarket standalone ECUs. Um, so this is our basic kit, a couple of brackets, a uh, couple of spacers, there's some bolts that come with it as well that I've not got on the table here, but um, of course the all important 36 minus one trigger wheel that goes in behind your uh, front pulley. Uh, and obviously this is going to mount across the alternator bracket and uh, take the standard Porsche crank sensor. Uh, so, uh, just moving over to the car, I just wanted to show you how it's fitted, uh, just to um, basically eliminate any doubt and, uh, and any questions people might have. So what we've done, uh, we've gone across from the, uh, the two points where the alternator bracket mounts, uh, we've gone in front of the alternator, um, sorry the tensioner, not the bracket. Uh, as you can see, the tensioner sits behind it as standard, so, the ten so we're not relying on the tensioner like some other kits out there. Uh, I don't like crank sensors to move, so we've done a completely independent bracket. So, as you can see, that's the basic assembly. Um, we've got a spacer in there. That'll be an 8mm spacer in your kit when you get it. And a spacer in there, that will be a 15mm spacer. We supply two long M8 bolts to replace the standard ones to go right the way through and clamp everything together um, and obviously the sensor bracket itself the sub bracket is up here um, with the, the fasteners recessed so that it clears the uh, clears the tensioner and then of course the standard Porsche um, sensor is mounted and clamped with a couple of grub screws that you can see there so uh, what we also have to do is um, just cut a uh, sort of a, a slot out of the front of the the, the, um, the cover obviously so that we've got some clearance uh, you can just put a hole in there but obviously that makes it quite difficult to then set your gap to your teeth so it is better if you can uh, remove the front of the cover as well and that allows you to get a feeler gauge just in there uh, we've set this gap to 0.3 uh, the VEMS seem to want a very small gap um, other ECUs we've used, we've, we've had like a, a millimetre gap and, uh, and that sort of size, but this wanted a tight gap, so that's set to point 0.3. I uh, do recommend that you test that in numerous positions on the wheel. Make sure the tooth is pointing completely at the sensor and uh, spin the wheel a few times through 90 degrees or even, even six points around the wheel and just make sure you don't have any contact before you start the engine because you don't want to chew up the end of that sensor. And so that really covers the fitment on the car. Um, obviously you clamp the two uh, grub screws up once you're done and, uh, and that's it in place basically. A bit of Loctite on those screws obviously won't go amiss so that uh, there's no chance of it coming loose. Uh, and then obviously the cable runs off up to the standard loom. Now you do need a, uh, an extension cable which will need to be made up. Um, so we've made up a cable to go right back up to the, the standard loom obviously because this is running VEMS and it relies on the, uh, the standard wiring. So coming around to here, settings for the VEMS software, uh, it's a little bit more tricky than uh, some in terms of you just got to set uh, the extra trigger, the first trigger tooth and that sort of thing, but nothing complicated. Uh, if you follow those settings you won't go far wrong if you're using VEMS and you set the trigger wheel up as we have it on our drawing. So yeah, that's a, a quick overview of our crank sensor kit. We do offer one for the 924 as well, uh, we don't bother with the, um, the S2 because uh, obviously that is... Uh, a 60 minus 2 anyway, so uh, that can be run off most standalone ECUs. But we do have throttle body kits um, as well as ECU conversions for these cars. So, yeah, if you need anything, get in touch or uh, see the link in the description for our website. Thanks for watching.